Welcome back to The Legal View. I'm Ashley Banfield. You know, there was a time in this country when signs like these were common. You can see beside that man, white only entrance. And uh, there were all sorts of signs saying colored only whites or no coloreds or colored only entrance or whites only or no Jews. And you would think that that's just ancient history, especially from the black and white images, right? No, not right. Because this sign was found this week. No Muslim parking in the Westview Shopping Center. Your car will be towed. So if it was last week's sign and this week's issue, it's a big problem. The shopping center is across the street from a mosque in Spring Branch, Texas, just outside of Houston. The Muslims across the country who've been seeing this, though, are pretty darn angry. The employees of the shopping center say that members of the mosque are taking parking spaces that are meant for customers, especially during their celebration times, like Ramadan, at the end of Ramadan. The owner of the shopping center says he has no idea who put up the signs, but they have since been taken down. Are the signs illegal? They aren't right, they're ugly, it's not nice to say that, but are they illegal? Our legal panel is here to sort this all out. Uh, Paul Callen is here again, defense attorney Danny Savalos again. And during the commercial break, we were having a spirited conversation about First Amendment rights, making the sign and saying those ugly words, and then of course, discrimination and civil rights. So Danny, where do those two things come together or clash, or do they? First, if after 1964, if you have a company, you hang out your shingle, and you discriminate against someone based on their race or their religion or any of the protected classes, you're violating Civil Rights Act, the Civil Rights Statute. However, going back to free speech, the question becomes, is the content of this speech such that it is not protected by the First Amendment? First, consider how different the statement is if the word instead of Muslim is mosque. Fascinating, right? How because does that change anything. So changes it no Muslims park here, right. or no, no mosque, mosque no, no, the, members. The, the, the park statement here. was no Muslim parking. No Muslim if parking. you change that to no mosque parking, now you're talking about a place of business that people are going to, namely the mosque. And, no and then it becomes proper. Okay. However, you, this could be chalked up to just somebody too ignorant to know the difference. But you could make that assumption that everybody who goes to a mosque technically may be Muslim. But think about our speech and how drastically different this becomes, how it implicates the First Amendment in a different way when you say no mosque parking, which is probably proper under the First Amendment, and then it becomes no Muslim parking, which then possibly is discriminatory because and not protected <laughs> under and the I First Amendment. I think ignorant is an understatement. And I'll say that only because if this was a church, and, uh, and Joey Jackson, I just noticed that you're in the segment. I'm so sorry I didn't even introduce you. Hello, it's my friend. all good, Ashley. So Always great to church, be with you. And the church was uh, celebrating a big wedding, and people were parking. I could understand that they'd say no church parking here, but if they said no Christian parking, you can't imagine a moment where they'd say no Christian parking, could you, Joey? Sure, I, I can't at all. I can't imagine they did this. I mean, it's improper, inappropriate, illegal uh, on all counts. I understand that we have a First Amendment. That First Amendment is strong. We could say things, we can do things. You can argue, however, in the First Amendment context that this is hateful because it would have a tendency to segregate a particular type of uh, category of people, and you could you know, even argue that it could incite violence against those people and so something like this should not ever be done and certainly action could be taken to take it down and I think in a broader context from a moral issue it's not only Muslims that are outraged it's all of us that are outraged because certainly if you're discriminating against one group then what's next and so certainly yeah. this should never happen at all so Paul Callen what's the difference between and and I'm not sure if Danny already answered it but I'm still a little bit confused what's the difference between marching down this this street as you've seen KKK members do saying I hate a certain color and putting up a sign saying I want a color not to park here here's, they're, they're both oh, signs and they, they are. are speech here's the difference and here's why I think it doesn't make a difference uh, yes the First Amendment protects your ability to hate other people for the most part and this uh, shopping center could have put up a sign saying we don't like Muslims. However, they'd still have to serve Muslims or face a lawsuit. Free speech allows you to express your hatred, but the law says if you're going to deny service to somebody based on gender or religion or color of skin, 
you're going to pay a price in a lawsuit. For instance, you could have an employment manual, and you could write in the employment manu uh, manual, uh, women need not apply for higher positions in this organization. That's free speech. But that would be discrimination under federal law. The corporation would be sued and would pay a huge, so huge amount of money. So the of writing it is the infraction, not executing the policy. That's right, which but is why you can say it. violence or yeah. segregating yeah. a particular group of people, it becomes problematic and it falls without of the ambit of the First Amendment. That's a problem. Oh, you words. guys, I knew that you would uh, settle this for me. Thank you. And I know that, Joey Jackson, you're a very busy man. You've got your HLN programs that you're preparing for as well. So I have to say goodbye. Thank <laughs> I'll you. I'll see you later, Ashley. All right. Danny, we'll see you later. Bye-bye, Paul. Many okay, times we'll see you back on the legal program. Love having the lawyers on staff now in the legal program. Rah!